Hello everybody and welcome back to more Factorio, not 15, mini mega base, uh, modded, rail world, whatever this thing is. I'm Liz and uh, I've been working on deploying our miners as I have said we'd be doing. I laid some uh, red belts down here on this particular set of iron so that we could get up into the iron stuff. Excuse me one second. Okay, that's a little bit better. I, uh... <laughs> We've, uh, we were doing some cleaning last weekend. It's now Friday of the next week, and I'm still not entirely over it, but I've been having some breathing issues the entire week as a result of it. Uh, and you can tell, it wasn't, uh, wasn't going particularly fantastic there at that particular moment. We have laid some red belt down here for our iron output. Running up four belts, uh, are, we are not fully utilizing all of these drills right here, and I don't even have the drills connected to the belts yet, in fact. And I've already decided that we're going to change how we do this. We're not going to do this this way. Uh, we might even pull these red belts out and switch them to yellow belts for the time being. But what we are going to do is use a bit of a uh, build that I'm not very fond of using. And we're going to use warehouses for this. Uh, I, I, I don't like buffers as a general rule. Like I don't like storing material. If you're going to store material, you might as well just use it, in my opinion, because uh, storing it means it's not getting used. But uh, we are going to store up a little bit of material here. Oh, excuse me. We're going to need some of these guys. And what else do I need? I think I need bricks in order to make this happen. Bricks are fine. I've got a whole bunch of them up here. So we'll just grab 100 of these guys. And yeah, OK, we can build warehouses. So we'll build one for iron. We'll build one for copper. And in all honesty, I'm probably going to build them on output queues. As, did, did I not get? Oh, I did get two. OK, there we go. So we're going to build one for iron. And I built another warehouse here just to store miscellaneous junk. Because you'll notice I pulled out the Make Anything factory and all this other stuff that was over here, and the smelters and all that kind of thing. Uh, that's because um, I, I'm moving on to the uh, smelting array now. And uh, I, I built this warehouse so that I can hold the materials that I pulled out of it. So the way this is going to work is we're going to get ourselves some loaders. And for loaders, I'm going to need what? Uh, that requires some copper as well in my inventory to make. So let's get a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. So 25 fast loaders. Let's get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I need 4 more, so 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to take a while. And then we're going to do similar for the iron over here. And the idea is. We are just going to loader in whatever we make into the warehouse, and then we are going to loader it out onto belts, which will balance the belts in a non-efficient way. I I am a fan of balancing your belts by having miners on them to create enough to make a balanced belt. I am a fan of balancing your smelting belts by having enough smelteries on them to uh, create a naturally balanced belt. I am not a fan of using other methods to balance your belts after the fact but uh, we are going to do it we are going to use a warehouse for it not because I am like you know n not, not because of preferences or anything like that just because I want to I want to give it a try I want to see how it, how it's gonna handle using a warehouse with loaders to load all this stuff up and over here as well uh, warehouse with loaders because then I can fit six belts onto one face of a warehouse whereas I uh, only need to run four of them out for now. But yeah, it's going to take us a while to get all of these loaders built up. We can actually build this one for the copper now. Um, thing is, I'm probably going to want to move this warehouse eventually because it's going to want to be wherever the train station is ultimately going to be. But for this very second, what I can do is this just like that. And uh, none of these are going to need anything faster than a yellow belt in order to make this happen. So actually, I didn't even need to make red loaders for these, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, well, I guess we'll, uh, since we have the loaders coming, we'll go and we'll start the iron one instead. Because I don't want to waste time waiting on even more of these guys. These, these drills are going to need red belts coming out of them, absolutely 100%. Like, they require red belts coming out of them. But, uh... We don't necessarily need to have um, red belts going up here just yet. So let's uh, let's pull some of this stuff off. 
and um, we will build our little warehouse thingamabobber into here and then we will decide what we want to do with the belt afterwards, shall we? Is there anything else that I really did other than pulling out the factory and all that kind of stuff? I don't think so. I haven't really played a lot. I played just a few minutes after the end of the last session and now this one um, is just starting now. I've been very, very busy lately. Let's put this guy in somewhere like here and we want it something like this I think. Yeah, there we go. So now let's drop in our... Why are they not stacking? Yeah, they stack. I don't know why they don't there. Let's drop these guys in here and I should get snap too on this. Like it should snap in correctly. It doesn't look like it is snapping in correctly though. No, that's definitely taking out. I have uh, I have a mod that's supposed to make these loaders snap the way that you would expect them to in this case, but uh, actually no, this makes sense. This makes perfect sense. No, no, never mind. This does actually make perfect sense that they would want to uh, output out of this thing. So it's fine. It's more like when they're connecting to belts that uh, the snap to matters. If the belt is already in place, it'll do it. But we are going to run, what, uh, five? Actually, no, this one's going to basically have six inputs on it, right? So let's reverse all of these guys. And uh, we need to figure out how we're going to run these belts. How many more runs of miners do I have? I have one, two full runs and one partial one. Also, trees in the way. That's really annoying. I mean, I just chopped down a crap ton of trees not too long ago, and now I have even more of them in the way. Like, trees, how inconsiderate can you be to just grow on the land that you know like a thousand years after, well, not a thousand years, but hundreds of years after you, uh, you, you, you germinate that uh, I am going to need to be using. Also, take a look at this. These are polluted trees. Are they not? Like this, is this not a stage of pollution? Like the tree is dying? Like how much pollution am I making? I guess it could potentially be a lot considering I was using like 30 megawatts not too long ago. So yeah, no, oh, all right, I can, I can, I can, I can dig that. We, 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 we were making quite a bit of pollution there, I bet. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit tired today. Uh, which is why I'm not playing XCOM or Pandora or anything like that. I just wanted to get into Factorio and uh, have a nice easy time with some stuff here and uh, get some building done. But uh, being, being, being tired, it's uh, oldest Munchkin's birthday today. I managed to play a little bit of Pandora earlier, get that captured. Um, and uh, all of that's good. Just a tiny little episode right before we uh, had to go do her birthday stuff. And um, I guess it's technically not today anymore, considering it's 1.30 in the morning now. It was yesterday. And, uh, I mean, that combined with all of the other things, like returning to work this week. You know, work is tiring, as I'm sure many of you are abundantly aware I mean, work is a tiring thing. Alright, let's connect these guys. Just paint them in, just like that. Happy little red belts. And you are going to want to have a splitter like that. And that's the last 10 red belts I have, actually. Wow, okay. Yeah, so we are definitely going to be using yellow belts out of the... Actually, I don't even have enough red belts to connect the actual miners in like this at the moment. Wow. Yeah, we didn't have very many red belts, by the way, guys. Uh, I pulled out the factory for it, and this is basically all we had. So these are going to have to be just yellow belts for the time being. And we're just going to have to replace them with red in the future. Because that's just the way it is. Actually, these ones here, it doesn't matter. These ones here, we could actually just run yellow belt. For fuck's sake, Liz. We could just run yellow belt straight up here. And uh, right here as well. And right here as well. And it's not going to matter. I don't think it would matter in this one either, would it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, we want to keep this one red. 
But otherwise, uh, this one back here is fine on just plain old fashioned yellow. These guys over here, though, absolutely cannot sustain off of a yellow belt alone. Like, they are going to need something bigger if I want these to, uh, to have all of the miners working all the time. But that's okay. For now, we can connect the, uh, the yellow up and uh, get ourselves some iron production. With that iron production, we can build the stuff that we need in order to get um, red belts going again. So it's fine. No worries. Come on. Now the youngest munchkin gets to go stay with the grandparents tomorrow night. Uh, which is, is wonderful. It, it's wonderful. And you can pawn the kids off for the weekend. Or maybe not the weekend, but you know, even just one particular night out of the weekend. Did I not have a belt run for... Oh, fuck. What did I do here? Why do I not have a thing for you? Okay, well, you're gonna just have to merge into this one then and hope they don't have blasters. I should have counted. Well, I guess I could still count exactly how many they have on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and a similar on the other side. But we are merging into a red belt, so that should be fine. Like, this should, well, mostly be okay. You know what? I can make this okay for sure, for sure, just by, uh, doing a really shitty, stupid, um, both, uh, both halves of the lane mix-up right there. So this is going to load the iron into the warehouse, and we will be taking four lanes of iron out, which are going to have to be... Well, no, you know what? I could take reds now, because I have a few more red belts. Do I have enough? I don't know. Well, I need to have... Oh, this is where all my red belts went to. I built those fast loaders. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Do I have enough fast belts to make this work? I do not. Okie dokie. Well, what I can do here, though, is uh, that and get some iron production going on two of these smelters, at least. And then we will run the copper up with a similar layout, except we're going to use the uh, regular loaders for that. Oh, I need to build because I, I just built a red loader that probably used the yellow. Yeah, it totally just used the yellow loader in order to make that happen. Um. I mean, I could just hand bomb some fast transport belts in my inventory, but all, in all honesty, that that's a lame. Why would I want to do that? That, that? that just seems really lame to me. So what we are going to do here is lay these last two loaders down here, and we will run yellow belt out of them to connect into these two red belts for the time being. And, uh, I mean, the... <laughs> yeah, look at that. The saturation is just going way down as a result of it, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get some iron production here going, and with that iron production, uh, we can start to make ourselves some more belts. And then we'll get this all sorted out in the future. In the meantime, though, let's get to work on the copper arrangement. I need five inputs into the copper here to get this sorted. I only need... Do, do I have enough for four right now, or do I only have enough for two at the moment? I only have enough for two outputs at the moment, so that's fine. No big deal. So we are going to put uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then we have to rotate them all so that they go in inwards. If you've never seen loaders before, they were made by the actual dev team, the, these devices here. They're made by the actual Factorio dev team. Like, this is an official Factorio item. This is not a mod item but uh, they never actually enabled them in the game because they determined in testing that they kind of ruin a few balances. Like the, it, It's not the balance that they wanted for certain things. They were too powerful, in a sense, um, and uh, meant that you didn't necessarily have to engineer the solution to a lot of things. Oh, I could use another one. What do you know? And uh, they disabled them by default, but they're still in the game files. Not with these graphics, of course. Uh, they have just placeholder graphics, like the shitty gray placeholder graphics that Factorio has for everything that's placeholder. But, um, yeah, they're in the game files. You just need to basically enable them. Why are you guys spilling? There's no reason to be spilling here. I don't understand why you spill. 
you need to go like that. Okay, there, see that one balanced itself normally. I don't understand why that stuff spilled. It shouldn't have spilled, is the iron one spilling? Doesn't look like it. Anyway, the way these things work is they interact with inventories and they uh, they can fully saturate to the type of belt that they're on. So a yellow belt one pulling out of an inventory can fully saturate the yellow belt. It can also keep up with a full rate uh, yellow belt going into it. Um, and uh, the red ones keep up with a red belt, the blue, uh, yeah, blue ones keep up with a blue belt, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think we're going to run out up here with our two lines, and it's probably just going to run right around over here and up and then into its uh, smelting things. I'm probably going to run it over in this direction here. Actually, it might be nice to have those two warehouses together. You know what, like I say, I'm going to move these, if I keep the warehouses at all, I do not like buffers, we have to remember that. If I do decide to keep these warehouses at all, I can, um, I can do it, uh, I, 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 can, I can move them when I have the train stations built. Because we do want to be building train stations not too far into the future, because we're going to need them to tap more resources. And honestly, I'm probably going to be building them right here. So maybe I should uh, maybe I should make these belts a little bit uh, less conspicuous, let's say, a little bit less uh, in the way of freaking everything. Another person might say. I love how I have the uh, mod for lighted electric poles, and I never make lighted electric poles. I just like having the actual light there. And especially in like designs like um, smelters and stuff like that, having the light there is important in some cases because it actually uh, um, occupies tiles that lets you uh, place things quicker. So this is a good amount of yellow belt that this is going to take. But hey, it could be worse. It could be a red belt, right? Right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, I guess we can just go underground here. There's no reason why we can't. I was thinking we should probably go underground with this, though, because this is only one belt, and these are two. So ultimately, it's going to cost us more to go underground with those, right? I mean, if we're using uh, red belts, that might not be the case, but... Uh, for sure the ones where we're using yellow belt, that's going to be more expensive to run two belts underground than it is to, sp to run one. There we go. For fuck's sake. There was a mod in uh, Not15 that locked, uh, you pressed a key button, a key button, you pressed a keystroke, and it would um, lock the... Uh, the placement cursor, like it wouldn't actually lock your cursor in a position, but if you were on this tile, uh, you press the lock the y-axis one and you would be able to move this way infinitely and you would never like do that and screw it up. Or you can lock the other dimension and be able to go up and down perfectly all the time. Uh, I kind of missed that mod, it was, it was, it was pretty nice. It was, it was mighty nice in fact, I, I, I definitely appreciated it. All right, here comes the copper. This early in the game, we're not going to need copper for ridiculous amounts of things, so I figure these two belts will be enough until I'm ready to really, like, pump it, if you know what I mean. Right, right, pump it, pump it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get these belts connected, and eventually we're going to get our train station in. Hello there, Mr. Warehouse. You should have a crap ton of copper in you now. Yes, you do. And let's just get those two nice saturated belts heading up into the smelteries. And I think just for experimentation purposes, I'm actually going to put a warehouse buffer on the outputs of all of these uh, as well. Not on each one of these runs, but like the iron will all run into one warehouse and so on and so forth. Again, I historically hate buffers. I don't like storing things not solid materials, not liquid, especially not liquid when we can avoid it. 
But I think I, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. It's funny how these are the only smelters that are actually doing something. Weird. Okay, so that means we are going to have materials coming in to our system now, and we can start building useful stuff like a factory up there. Uh, but are we ready to do that yet? What am I missing for warehouses? Need more iron, yes. Need more iron, yes. Also, in addition to iron, I think I need some brick in order to make this happen. Not that, this brick. Give me all your brick and don't let up until we're through. Uses 25 brick each, yes. So we built uh, two of them. I'm going to build one more. Uses wood as well, so I mean, that's a thing. And I think I'm going to stick these guys on the outputs just to play with this a little bit. Where should the bus go? I'm thinking everything should collapse down here towards where the iron is, and the bus should go there. That gives us a lot of room so that we have uh, space to do the oil up above and all that kind of stuff. And we could put factory in here and factory on the other side of it and all of this stuff. So yeah, I think it's all going to collapse into where the iron is, but we will make it sort of central to where the iron is. So to that end, what is central to where the iron is? There are one, two, three, four iron belts currently. So central to it would be these tiles right here. So that would be something along the lines of one, two, three, four, for example, just like that. Um, so which one is iron in this scenario? It is one, two, three, four, it's these. All right, so you need to go there, you need to go there, you need to go there, and you need to go there. Perfecto. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to have these guys just immediately bend in to the inner belts like that and then we're gonna have these guys one tile out no one more tile out bend in to the outer belts of course I you know mess it up as I go but that's okay, because remember, there are no mistakes here, only happy little accidents. So now, let's uh, connect all this iron. Howdy. Nice to see ya. And now we're going to need some more loaders. So, yay, one, two, three at least, and then we're going to need one, two, three, four for the other side. And a warehouse, which will go right here. Now these hold up to six. Well, not hold up to six. These have up to six connections on them. Um, so we will re leave room for two more connections on this side, and we can have two more outputs coming out the other side, and all that fun stuff. And, you know, the world is great, and glory, glory, hallelujah, and all that stuff. But, uh, I mean, whatever, right? I don't like buffers. Let's just get this dealt with before I go insane. And we'll do the same thing with the copper. And then we'll do the same thing with the steel, even though the steel probably doesn't need it. It has two chests there. We'll change it to a warehouse, and then uh, we can go from there. The beauty about using a warehouse for this, even if we don't, like, we don't have to call this warehouse a buffer. What we could call this warehouse is the logistics system warehouse, because we can upgrade this to a logistics warehouse in the future, and the logistics system will just pick up all of its iron from that. I don't need to worry about updating multiple chests or upgrading, rather, multiple chests or anything like that. Uh, it's just quick, easy, and it's the law. Well, maybe not, maybe not the law, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, those both placed automatically correctly, and there we go. We've got this iron coming in, and then we're gonna need a whole bunch of these guys for the copper and all of that stuff. Okay, let's take a peek down here at uh, what our situation is on a few of these things. Science is stalled because red science because iron. Yeah, iron. It's no problem. We can definitely get iron. Let's take a look at our power situation. Perfectly fine and no problems with that. Also, the coal situation currently is perfectly fine. But I am starting to smelt now, and smelting is going to use a lot more coal a lot quicker. 
and that could become an issue to us. Only 24 megawatts. And the only electric furnaces I have running now are the ones on the steel. Like the inner furnaces on the steel run are electric, and they aren't actually running at all, at all. So what's, oh, it's the drills, right. We're using 20 megawatts with drills. That makes perfect sense, actually. That, uh, that actually totally makes perfect sense to me. Are you guys still doing stuff? Uh, not really. Okay, so what we're going to do here is have two belts. And they are going to go right here. Uh, where's a, the tile for them, though? This one here, I think. And then the one before it is the one that actually bends into it. So let's take that, and then we will... do a little bit of this kajiggering and a little bit of this kajiggering. And that's going to connect the copper into there, exactly the same pattern as we have on the iron, on the two inner iron ones. And we will put a, another warehouse down right on up here for the copper. I might need to adjust this warehouse. Hold on a second. One, two, three. Yeah, you know what? This warehouse does need to be adjusted. Just a smidgen. Let's run the copper over here and now uh, adjust, sir. Adjust. So that is the first tile down. That gives it one. That's going to give it two. One, two. Put it there. They should line up perfectly. They do indeed line up perfectly. And uh, let's place these two guys, and there we go. Now we've got copper filtering into this as well from our smelting arrays, and it's all good. Everything is fantastico in the world. Well, I think that is a good wrapping up point for today. Our smelting array is pretty much all... Well, you know what? No, 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 no. No. We are about to wrap up, but this isn't quite the wrapping up point that we want, right? Right? We're not quite there. Let's go ahead and finish this off because, you know, reasons. Let's get you going into there and uh, I'm gonna need steel connecting just like this. This one, unfortunately, is not gonna get a nice even distribution. So one, two, this one can go here and then that'll be fine. Yeah, perfect. And now we've got the steel coming in as well, so I mean, we're going to produce for a long time to fill these warehouses, and I'm okay with that, actually, and it's going to make a big buffer. Uh, I'm not a fan of buffers, but whatever. Uh, now, next step is going to be to break this all out and build our buses off of it. Although, actually, now that I look at it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm going to correct this. I don't think this is the way I want it to be. I think I want both of these warehouses to be down here, and I think I want all of this stuff to actually pipe its shit down here so that the warehouses are next to each other um, outputting into the buses. I don't know. I will decide in the off time. I think this is a good wrapping up point for this episode. And uh, the next thing we are going to be doing, I think, is making our Make Anything factory over again um, and getting things like a proper green circuit build so that we can supply proper green circuits and a proper iron gear wheel build so we can provide proper iron gear wheels. Thank you for tuning in to this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you next time. I have been Liz, and stay cool.